hi everyone so god is saying that it's time to be doing it many times in order to paralyze it completely in order to paralyze them completely so recently there was a video that was trending of people two men who were fighting and then the other one had a gun with him and he was telling the other one he was sitting in the car telling him that come out of the car get out and the man was refusing to get out and then now this man who was telling the other one to come out he went and stood by the windscreen and then the man who was seated by the car now began to shoot and then he shot him six times and then now when they're asking him why did you have to shoot him and his response was that i wanted to paralyze him because if i only shot him once he would have been able now to fight me he would have been able to shoot so that's why i did it like that that is why here when you read the book of second kings chapter 13 verse 15 the bible says elisha said get a bow and some arrows and he did so take the bow in your hands he said to the king of israel when he had taken it elisha put his hands on the king's hands open the east window he said and he opened it shoot elisha said and he shot the lord's arrow of victory the lord's arrow of victory the arrow of victory over aram Elisha declared, you will completely destroy the Arameans at Apek. Then he said, take the arrows. And the king took them. Elisha told him, strike the ground. He struck it three times and stopped. The man of God was angry with him and said, you should have struck the ground five or six times. Then you would have defeated Aram, Aram and completely destroyed it. But now you will defeat it only three times hallelujah so this was elisha talking to the king of israel before he parted he departed from the world before the sickness that he had made him this before the sickness that he had took him away he was telling the king that now shoot the arrow outside the window and then he told him he declared to him that it means that you are going to gain victory you will completely destroy them and then he told him that now strike the ground but this king the king of israel decided to strike the ground only three times yet he had so many arrows but he only did it three times so now it made elisha very angry because he said that it means that now you are not going to completely destroy your opponents you are just only going to defeat them three times you should have done this five or six times so it means that there's so much power in the number six because it means that the number six when you do something six times it means that it is total paralysis so god is also saying that when you are serious about paralyzing the enemy do it more than once do it more than twice do it more than three times continue continue do it as often as you want do it so many times so that you can completely destroy your enemy in the mighty name of jesus some of you have succeeded in driving out certain demons out of your lives because you have done it one time you've done it two times you've done it three times and you have succeeded in driving them out three times but god is saying that if you want to completely destroy them so that they don't come back to you and bother you again you will have to do it more than five times in the mighty name of jesus you will have to do it five or six times in the mighty name of jesus so god is saying that over that problem Problem. strike it strike it more than once strike it more than four times strike it five to six times don't give up keep going keep pushing keep pushing keep calling on the name of jesus when you are trying to do something do it more than one time do it more than three times and you will see that you will gain complete victory in the mighty name of jesus amen